Hi, Annie Chin Taylor here. Thanks for visiting my Access Consciousness webpage. I'm so happy you're here. I have an inkling that you might be visiting the Access Consciousness website because you're looking for something different that can help you change what isn't working for you in your life. You're looking for something different. So what's really cool about the Access Consciousness tools is one, they're simple, two, they're easy to use, and three, you can use them anytime and anywhere. I've used them while I've been traveling. I've used them while I've been lying in bed. I've used them when I've been out with friends or family. I've used them while I've been showering. Anytime, anywhere. Okay, so I want to share one tool with you in this video that you could start using as soon as you're done watching the video to shift any point of view that's limiting you. So this is based on the idea that your points of view create your reality. So if something's going on in your reality that isn't working for you, what if you have some unconscious or conscious points of views that you're functioning from that are, that's creating that, okay? So what if you could change the energy behind that point of view? Okay, so this is how it goes. It's called interesting point of view. I have that point of view. It's just an interesting point of view. All right, so let me give you an example of when I used this with, a, with um, somebody and it shifted her reality, okay? I do presentations. Um, I present the Access Consciousness tools to groups of people. And one group that I was asked to present it to was um, some teenage musicians at a local music festival. And I was asked to present some ways in which the musicians could um, change the underlying causes of performance anxiety. One of the young ladies came up to me, and let's just say her name was Mary, and she said, Mrs. Taylor, can you help me change something? And I said, sure, what's, what's up, Mary? And she said, well, when I'm up on the stage and we're playing, the orchestra is playing, you know, the music, and I know I'm approaching a hard part in, in the piece. I hold my breath because I think I have to really focus on the hard part. And if I don't focus, then I'm going to mess up. And she said it's a problem because it, when she stops breathing, her diaphragm starts hurting. Okay? So she's trying to play this piece while her diaphragm's hurting. So I looked at her. And I said, Mary, that's an interesting point of view that you have. You have the point of view that if you stop breathing, you'll be able to play the hard part. That's just an interesting point of view. That's an interesting point of view, Mary, that if you stop breathing, you'll be able to focus on playing the hard part. That's an interesting point of view. Interesting point of view, you have the point of view that you can only play the hard part if you're not breathing. Okay, so I ran through that interesting point of view kind of process with her like three or four times, and I was following the energy to see how the point of view might sh be um, shifting a little bit. And after three or four times, I felt something release, the energy shift. And now Mary never had any experience with energy work before. And so after I felt the energy shift, I said, Mary, I don't know if you noticed it, but something changed. And she said, I felt something, Mrs. Taylor. So um, later that evening was the culmination of the music festival and they had their big concert. And so when I was in the lobby, um, I saw her um, but there were lots of people around. And so I yelled over to her and I said, Mary. And she looked at me and I said, how'd it go? And she gave me a big thumbs up. Well, when you're acknowledging that a point of view is just interesting, it's not right and it's not wrong, it's not good and it's not bad, you're taking yourself out of the judgment of it being right or wrong. And so when you have bought into a point of view as being right or wrong, you're making it significant. 
So when you're acknowledging that it's just interesting, you take away the significance and the charge of the judgment around it. And so when you free yourself from the judgment, you actually free yourself from the hold that that point of view was keeping you under. So what if it could be that simple to change a point of view and as a result, change your reality? How cool could that be? So I hope you can use that tool and change points of views that um, are creating limitation in your world. And yeah, what I'd love to invite you to do is if, if this was a contribution to you and you'd like to get more information from me about my classes and other tips and tools, then um, click the link in the description up above, um, the information up above to get my free ebook, Getting Started, Three Questions to Generate Magic with Your Money, Your Relationships, and Your Health. So thanks for joining me here and I hope to meet you someday.